So where does anxiety come into? How do, you, how do you get anxiety from being on the phone too much or playing too many video games or being on your computer and on social media and all that? Here's how. It starts like this. Take a child that's 12 years old, for example. They now get uh, their first phone, their first smartphone, or now they're playing video games a lot, whatever it might be. What begins to happen very quickly is that other areas of their life now start to fall off. They, they may not, and this isn't in, with every kid, but more so than ever, they may not participate as much in activities and sports as they used to. Grades can start to go down, okay, so it's a progression that begins at starting at that age. Kid may have gotten straight A's and done great in school and been happy and got along with his, parent, with his or her parents, and now very quickly they get the modern day weapon of mass distraction, and all of a sudden they become very fixated in that, on that or whatever technology that they're using. And it starts with grades start to drop. What happens when grades start to drop? Tension starts to brew in the household, and it becomes a daily occurrence. Just tension and stress and, and arguing and bickering in many, many households is, is happening on a daily basis now because of phones and devices and so forth. Now the kid is transitioning you know, up until the high school years. Um, grades may be even further behind. And now, you know, I'm going to get into something else in a minute. And then once they get to the high school years in particular, so all of that, I'm going to talk about another variable, but I want to get to this first. Get to the high school years, and we have um, an epidemic in our country right now of sleep-deprived teenagers. I don't know if you guys knew that. Just look it up. Uh, sleep centers are bursting at the seams right now. And, and the reason is, and, I, and I, I ask kids every day, high school teenage, teenage kids, when they come to my office confidentially, I'll say, be, be honest with me. What time do you go to bed? And I'm not exaggerating when I say this. Almost all of them will tell me they go to bed somewhere between 1 and 4 a.m. every night of the school week and that their parents don't know.